After a stellar performance against Errol Spence, Terence Crawford has now been called out by Gervonta Davis. Crawford has already mentioned a fight that he'd like to see in the future when Clarissa Shields talked about him fighting Jerome Ennis, and he stated, Now that could happen regarding a fight with Ennis because we're at the same weight class, but at this point in time, I'm looking for bigger and better opportunities like Dramel Charlo. Jerome Ennis is definitely open to the idea of fighting Terrence, and he already feels good about his chances. Jerome stated, he's a walking victim. Stay at 47 so we can get active. Terrence's trainer is also open to the possibility of Jermell Charlo jumping in the ring with Crawford, even though there is a considerable size difference. He stated, there's more still in the toolbox because of the simple fact that that dude was basic. Let's go back up to 54, knock off Charlo, see what Charlo got. If he can go up to 54 and knock off Charlo, Charlo a little stronger. You see how Bud was twisting that mother Spence around. Strong, catching them punches and delivering like a mother I need somebody to bring the best Bud Crawford out of him. Terrence was also asked about a possible rematch against Errol Spence, and he seemed open to the idea at a different weight class. Are you interested in moving up and wait for the rematch, or does it have to be at 47? It definitely don't have to be at 47. Like I said, you know, I'm, I'm in a hurt business. 47 was kind of hard for me too. I was already talking about moving up and wait and challenging Charlo. So 54 wouldn't be outreach of anything. With Terrence Crawford riding the high of a stellar TKO of Errol Spence, naturally, fighters are looking to cash in on a fight with him. Keith Thurman is definitely trying to put his name in the mix as he stated, What's up, bud? What's good, son? Come on, G. Great performance. Salute, salute, salute. Three times for you, man. All the belts. Greatness. What you do is greatness. But you know, this your man Thurman, bro. You know we go back. You know we go way back, boy. And I promise you, son, my face, my face, it won't look like Spence's. Thurman is different. Been different, boy. Let's go. I'm proud of you, boy, but one thing you ain't seen in this life yet, and that's your man right here, Keith One Time Thurman. Talk to Al Heyman. Send the contract. It's time to eat. I'm hungry, baby. I'm hungry, baby. It's time to eat. I'm in the gym working, working for you. Working for you. Let's go, bud. Let's go, champ. Let's go. Alexis Rocha thinks he's been ready for some big names, and he called out Terrence before the fight with Spence was finalized. Rocha stated, I'm ready for the big names. Errol Spence doesn't want to fight Crawford for some reason. He's fighting former unified WBC WBA welterweight titleist Keith Thurman. I'm next in the WBO. I want Crawford next. Calvin Ford even threw out the idea of Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement to fight Crawford. Ford stated, The question is, is Floyd going to come out of retirement and fight Crawford? I remember a statement where he said that if Terrence beat Spence, he would come out of retirement. That's a good one because you've got the old grade against the new grade. The pay-per-views would be stupid. Terrence mentioned one other name that drew his interest and that was Canelo Alvarez. Terrence stated, I don't see anyone else on that level of Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence besides Canelo, and he fights at 168 plus, so I don't see him and me fighting. I would say 154 realistically. Those boys get big up there. I'm not the type of person to toot my own horn too loud to be able to say, oh, I could beat the world. I understand that there's weight classes for a reason and I respect the weight classes. I think 154 would be my max given the age. I'm about to be 36 years old in September so I have to take that into consideration as well. As for Javonta Davis, since getting out of prison, Davis has had plenty of options for fights thrown his way. Shakur Stevenson was ready to go before Davis got out and he stated, I'd love that fight. I think that's the biggest and best fight in boxing. I'm ready right now. But he's the A-side. He can pick and choose. He's at Floyd Mayweather point. He's got that leverage now, so it's all up to him. I'm very confident fight with Javonta will happen. Tank is tired of me talking, so shut me up. Yeah, he won't even say my name right now. Tell him to come shut me up. Let's see what he really wants to do. It's got to happen. That's the biggest fight of all sport. That's the Super Bowl right there. I'm coming. Davis doesn't think that Shakur has the power to back up all of his talk, though. Some of your 135 contemporaries have a lot to say these days. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, well, of course, he's now 135 after all that stuff, and then Devin Haney. He, right, so why people even talk like he the best at... 
He didn't even fight at 135 yet. Right. He didn't even, he, he didn't even have power at 126, 30 or nothing. He is good. Okay. How can you, all that's just okay. How can you stop people that can actually hit? No matter all that boxing, you gonna get hit. What you gonna do when you get hit? Shakur isn't the only one that wants the big fight with Davis though, as Devin Haney has called him out too. Devin stated, the biggest fight would be me and Tank Davis. That's the biggest fight. Obviously, that would be the one I want next. George Combosas Jr. thinks that a fight between himself and Davis would be an absolute shootout. George stated, I really like the Dravonta Davis fight, styles-wise. A lot of people are saying he's too explosive and he'd knock me out, but they said the same thing about Teofimo Lopez. Stylistically, I think me and him is a shootout. I can take a shot. I've got a chin on me. I'm very explosive as well, and I throw punches in bunches. When I take someone's confidence away from them, when they can't take me out and I keep coming and keep breaking them down, it opens up a lot of holes. It's a great fight. He's a lot smaller than I am, so I feel I can capitalize on that. Isaac Cruz tried to throw his name out there, but the fans and Davis didn't seem too interested in that potential matchup again. We want the rematch with Javante Davis. Uh, these fans have been great, and that's why... Um, you know, they came out and I, what, what I promised is a depth already, and we did it tonight. Javante shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. <laughs> and Davis wasn't too keen on a Rolly Romero rematch either. Radio Raheem, uh, Rolly's already... Oh, yeah. Right here, right here. Oh, my bad. Uh, Rolly feels like he won every round and is already calling for the rematch. What's your reaction to that? Hey. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. Shout out to him. Did he give you any trouble in this fight? Was there anything about his style that was difficult? No. I think I need to start warming up more, though, before the fight. So I won't, I could be already, like, really warm when I get into the fight. Because it was like, I was going into the fight a little cold. Even though we was working out, but I think I need to be, like, more, like, do some, like, jump roping or something. Because... I had to warm myself up before I can actually like get in the groove. Steven Espinosa thinks that Naoya Inoue could potentially move up to face Gervonta Davis. Steven stated, you never know, it sounds a bit crazy, but it's only 13 pounds more. I'd love to see Tank versus Inoue. After that performance versus Steven Fulton, I wouldn't put anything out of his reach. Gervonta Davis has even mentioned that this is a dream fight he'd love to make. Davis stated, I like, who's that guy from Japan? In a way, yeah, that would be a fun fight and it would be technical, but I think I'd be too big for him, but it would be like a dream fight. I like that fight. Another fight that definitely piques his interest is a fight with Terrence Crawford and he put in a prediction on how he would beat him. Davis stated, 147? If I tap that chin, you know he's going to sleep. He ain't got no chance. I got round six. Terrence laughed at Davis' comment and he stated, when you look at all the great fighters, they get called out by everybody from different weight classes, so it's nothing that I'm surprised about. Everybody says what they're going to do, but Tank is in his weight class for a reason. I don't see him coming up to 147 to face me anytime soon. Brian Norman has sparred with both of the fighters and he has drawn his own conclusion on who hits with more power. He stated, when I sparred Terrence Crawford, I was 20 years old and he tried to old man me and show me I was a boy. But even when you see him fight, he doesn't necessarily one-shot people. He beats you up, then he kills you. But as far as one-shot power and who got that, I've got to give it to Tank. Borkier posted an interview talking about the potential matchup. I got a, I got a question for you, Tank. At, at 147, how does uh, a fight with you and Terrence Crawford look? Damn. 147? Kid, I tap that chain, you know he's going to sleep. I already know. I already, I already know he, he is. Got no chance. I already know he is. <laughs> said no chance. I, hey, I got round five. Shit, I got round six. I, I, we, we'll do that. I'm going to put my money in round six. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.